the brutal death pose of Rugral is back again from Randall from the one of the best shows I have seen this year so far with a corpse eater himself Adam from Oceano and I do vocals for ear grind ear grinder <laughs> So, today you've made the best show, you already know because I already told you and you've put out five albums and you're still going strong but what was the change for the sound and things on Ascendant? Um, so um, when the change came out for, for Ascendant, um, we did have a guitarist, a new guitarist come in, Scott, so that influenced a lot of the, the change in sound a little bit in the direction of it. but. What we try to do is keep a lot of the old Oceano feel, and as far as for me being generally the, the only like original or long-term member as far as albums go. Since 2007? Yeah, seven or eight, yeah. Um, I just, I figured that Scott, the way he wrote was very aggressive, and that was something that Oceano always did in the past but he did it a different way. So I felt it was a good, so that he would bring in some of the stuff that he did, which is like a lot more background ambience and, and lots of that stuff. And that's something that I knew from way back in the band that people wanted more of. And he was good at that, but he was also good at the aggressive part. So it's like, well, I'll direct him on how we can keep the old Oceano sound there. And then the rest, he can bring in his elements. So we kind of blend it together to make something that he's accustomed to and then I'm also accustomed to hearing and playing. So which which kind of is a mutual decision like let's keep it let's make it heavier than it was but do it in a different way, you know. So that, that works for, for the rider. Cool. What do you do to keep your vocals as they are? What uh, do you eat? I said you copes eater, but I, you I drink are. I drink a lot of what is it? What the the <laughs> no, no. I, I would though. Um I just try and lots of water. I try not to over party, so uh, I try not to over, like over talk and things like that. So I, I just like to try and keep my days really chill and relaxed. So it's not rock and roll. It's more like a responsible lifestyle. Yeah. 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 It's just getting older and doing it for so long. I want to be able to do it as long as I can. And I think as you get older, your body doesn't work the same so I, I feel I just need to be a little more responsible and pay attention to what my body needs more than what my brain or you know my, my party body wants out of me you know so I kind of just have to just be chill and, and pick my days to party and just it, it's not hard but in the end I'd rather sound good and know I sound good than get fucking wasted before I play, then watch that YouTube video three weeks later, but oh my gosh, this is fucking disgusting, this is ridiculous. So that kind of influenced me to just be a lot more conscious about what I do. Now, what would be your last words if you would have to die on the stage? That's awesome. <laughs> last words. That's a stumper, that's a good one. I'll give you a moment. If I died on stage, like Mike in my hand or rocking out? Mike in your hand. Mike in my hand. We won't, we won't uh, right. Like no one's gonna die. Like, last breakdown. La last, last breakdown. <laughs> that's that's a fucking hard and good question. Um, it's not not very metal, but I think I would say love each other and do it better than you think you're doing it. And that was Warren from his hippie band, Oceano. <laughs> See you next time, bitches.